Here comes a sharp cold front, 98 yesterday. 98 yesterday, 95 ties a record today. So we are ready for some fall numbers. 79 tonight, winds are calm. Boy, is that gonna change soon? We've got a dew point of only 44. One of the main reasons is fronts coming through dry. Today, I mentioned it already, we tied a record and it was an old one. Look at this, 1931 was the last time we were this hot this time of year. 83 is where we should stop. We go to 95. Incredible. All right, here's where the cold front's coming in from. The northeast. That's why it's called the backdoor cold front because normally fronts will come from the northwest and move southeast. This one from the northeast moving southwest. And one thing's for sure, the temps are moving way south. Look at that. From 98 yesterday, 95 today, 77 tomorrow, 80 on Thursday. And the bigger story Thursday is Thursday morning. 53 in the city. That's going to mean 45 to maybe 48. Kerrville, Bernie, Comfort, maybe up to Fredericksburg for a mid 40 degree morning. Well, one thing's for sure before we get the cooler air comes the winds, and the wind chimes are going to wake you up. It's going to be about four in the morning. We're expecting those wind gusts to really start up, and that'll be, of course, a northeast wind ranging between 20 and 25. I think the winds will peak between 25 and 30 in the mid morning hours. This is 9 a.m. And then we're going to stay breezy through the afternoon with winds still gusting over 20 miles per hour. And keep in mind that dry air is only getting drier as dew points go down into the 30s. So when the air is drying out and you've got high wind speeds, you've got an elevated fire weather threat. So tomorrow is a weather impact alert for the windy, dry air condition, which of course can spread wildfires quickly. So please prevent burning. We are in a tinder box. Take a look at this latest drought report where Bear County joins Comal, Kendall, almost all of Kerr, half of Medina, two thirds of Uvalde in severe drought with still a pocket of extreme drought. And now the weekend rainmaker is going to be disappointing. It sets up shop over the four corners, but look, most of the energy is lifting north. So it looks like we get clipped with a very slight chance of rain. All the rain staying up to the north. Here's the 14 day forecast from the Tower of the Americas. We've got tomorrow as a weather impact alert because of the wind speeds and the dry air. Again, an elevated fire weather risk. 77 should be the afternoon high. Then 53 to only 80 on Thursday. Nice fall day. Another beautiful crisp morning waiting for you on Friday, then up to 82. We've got some mid 80s waiting for us over the weekend with that chance of rain now down to only 20. Or I'm sorry, 10%. We were at 20 yesterday. That wasn't even a good chance. Second set of seven. We're going closer to 90. Still no chance of measurable rain in this dry forecast as we start to wrap up October.